Ready, three, two, one. What is up, my friends? Rob Fury here, talent relationship specialist here at Streamly.com. And I am here with the man that just by looking at him sends shivers down your spine and makes your nightmares run for cover. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Nicholas King to the stream. How are you doing today, sir? I'm good, man. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for coming on here because you, you kind of like, you know, you put fear, you strike fear into people's hearts. But yet again, when we see you live, you're like this nice, gentle person. Like <laughs> the dichotomy of it. It's craziness. It's craziness. So to uh, first tell us, like, what, uh, like, how did you get into the acting world real quick? Well, I mean, I wouldn't portray myself as an actor. But, uh, I mean, I, I, I started off at seven years old doing stunts and stuff like that. My dad's a longtime stunt coordinator. And so I just kind of always did that throughout school and after high school as well. Very nice. So, and, like, you're, you're, you seem like you're super duper tall. Like, how tall are you? I'm, all, I'm only 6'1". Oh, you're my height. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, they make you look like you're 7'12", dude. I've heard that. I've heard that before, yeah. Like, oh, all right. So, do you wear like platform shoes or no. is it that it's just camera? I think it's just camera, the position in the camera. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right. Um, so like when you when you forayed into the the horror genre into acting, like how did you stumble up, across it? So, actually, my dad was honestly the stunt coordinator of the LA version of Sinister One. And myself, my brother, and about three, four other guys went to an audition. And since there was no dialogue, it was just primarily just body structure and stuff like that. And, and, you know, and that's he just picked me. And <laughs> like on background, you know. But yeah, like your brother. Oh, between you two, yeah. ah, you're like an inch taller. I'm taking the inch taller. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Oh, we have some people in the stream. We have. Cool gamers saying hi from YouTube. And we got Wolf Grinsky saying hello, Wolf Grinsky. Good to see you, my friend. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get your prints from this horror demon, well, I wouldn't say demon or entity, just like this, this horror force. You're kind of like Mike Myers, but you move faster. Yeah, right. <laughs> So if you guys want to get your prints right at the bottom of the ticker, go to get your exclusive prints at streamy.com slash Nick King. So right now, uh, with Whiskey, we're doing great right now. If you guys have any questions for Nick, throw it down. He is, not only is he sinister, but he's destructive and a force to be reckoned with. And if you go near him, he's going to, I don't even know what he's gonna do. You see, that's how that's how horrific the imagery shall be if you go near Mr. Boogie. But right now, we're gonna start off with you going into your prints and then just literally just casually talking uh, with us and you know seeing, you know. So first one that we have here, we have is for Luke. And for Luke right there, this one is our Mr. Boogie print. So, Nick, Nick, Nicholas, can you show everybody that Mr. Boogie print right now? Because that that looks, oh, my goodness. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look, it, it's it's so hauntingly beautiful. Can you can you talk to us like put us in, put us in the into the environment right now? Yeah. So tell us the scene and yeah. then tell us what you were you're thinking about while shooting it and like the process. So, I mean, this one was shot in New York in, in a pretty, actually pretty nice house. Um, and they just smeared like fake blood all over the walls. And I remember the first time seeing it, it was actually, they had strobe lights set up and stuff like that. It was actually really cool. Um, but yeah, this, you know, this, this little girl, she was actually really like, really fun to work with and stuff like that. Super talented. And uh, yeah. I, you see, I love that you could tell that you are you're one of those talents that you don't really go out and like do a bunch of interviews. No. You're just straight to the point and yeah. you're just like, this is it, this is that, no fluff, not yeah. no, no, well, 
here's how the story started. And he's like, yeah. Yo, listen, cool place, <laughs> blood on the wall. Next question. No, yeah, it's just you know, it's it was pretty straightforward. But yeah, no, it was it was fun. It was it was fun to shoot it. That is cool. I had to, hold the, is... I had to hold the girl up for like I mean it felt like two hours, but it was in reality it was like a couple minutes, but just because they kept on doing different camera angles and stuff like that for lighting and stuff like that, but mm. that fun. And like how long did it take the like all the makeup and prosthetics and all that like per day? Because I know yeah. it so, had to be cumbersome. Yeah. So for the first uh for the first one, it was about three hours to put all the makeup on and stuff like that. Ooh. Yeah, and then the breathing or the mask itself was relatively thick, so the breathing, my breathing was actually pretty restrictive. So it honestly made me pretty tired, and because it was such a long process, I would just wear it like literally all day long, you know. And there's no mouth or anything, so I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink, you know. But Which you lost a heck ton, a ton of weight during that time. Yeah, I sweated profusely, but yeah, but it was worth it, you know. It's fun. I get to I get to do stuff like this, you know, and interact with people. Heck yeah, I dig that. So, yeah. all right, so let's make this first one out to Luke. Now, okay. for Luke, there's no dis uh, there's no instructions or a description. So, right, I would say probably we write one of your best spooky quotes from um, the movie. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I, just, I, hold on, time out. You don't really, you don't. I don't remember you speaking. Much. There's no dialogue. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, uh, you idiot. You kind of just told him to do a quote for something that he doesn't really talk. <laughs> yeah. But, right. um, yeah, just so, to look and then I'll sign it and put like Mr. Boogie or something like that. Yeah, there you go. I was going to say, write something that you think would be in his head while he's coming after you. But yeah, you could just sign it, Mr. Boogie. Okay. Copy that. Yeah. And we have we have oh we have some comments in the chat right now while you're assigning that we have by um, okay we got from Wolf Rinsky in YouTube saying what is your favorite print out of all the streamly prints while you're assigning your Mister Boogie right now um I personally like the uh, the movie posters to be honest with you you know I like those ones a lot I like this one a lot. I've I've never seen this one with a, uh, with it how it says Sinister Two on it. Oh yeah, that that is pretty cool. Our, us, us at Streamly, we tried to do very well and get get yeah. you guys some really good prints. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah, I'd say this one probably. You're like, I'm gonna sign this and put it on my own wall. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so here's uh this one's to Luke. Yes, Luke. hold on. Let me let me come out of this. That looks so beautiful. I had to ca I had to get out of the stream just so we could highlight that beauty right there. That was that was gorgeous. So right there, I will check that one complete for you for Luke. Not a problem. So right here, we have another question here on Instagram, and by Wolfwinski again. It said, "Who was a popular actor that you were surprised to be working with?" Uh, well, I mean, for the first one, Ethan Hawke. I mean. Everyone knows Ethan Hawke, you know, but uh, mm -hmm. for the second one, I was pretty surprised that uh, Shannon Sussman was got, uh, you know, got uh, picked. But she's she's super nice, you know. Nice. Did you have any like really cool interactions with her, or is it one of one of those? Oh, she's just you know overall nice, and we didn't really get to talk that yeah. much because it's a set and we're busy. Yeah, it's just yeah. Again, with the mask being on all day, it's you know. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but on the days that you know i was on set and didn't have the mask on you know we talk and stuff like that it was it was nice it was fun so so let's say that you were on set for a movie uh, such as that you're probably on set for about what four months uh so for sinister one it was yeah no it was three months and then Sinister Four probably overall was about five months because we did shoots in LA and stuff like that. And then you switched to different locations, right? Yeah. So for Sinister One, it was New York and LA. And then for Sinister Two, it was Chicago and LA. Chicago and LA. All right. So with, within that, within that time frame, I want to know 
because you were talking about being in mask and being out mask. So yeah. For the let's say for the three month um, shooting period for Sinister One, mm-hmm. how much of that time? And let's just say five days. It's usually five days a week yeah. for shooting. Yeah. So out of those five days a week, for those I, three months, how many I, times were you actually out of mask? Oh, out of mask? Yeah, because I know that you are going to be in mask a heck of a lot of times. Yeah. So aside from the weekends, obviously five day shoots. I'd probably be out of the mask maybe, maybe like two days. Oof. Yeah, sometimes maybe three, you know. But there was like one time I for Sinister 2, I had to go back out there and I was for 10 days straight in mask. Well, you know, again, with the breakup of the weekend. Damn. Yeah. And, it, and it's like, like your significant other doesn't even know who you are. It's like, where... Where are you, Nicholas? Where are you? Yeah, I guess he, like he's upset. Really, X, because I had you know on the first one it was um it was gloves. Then on the second one they just did finger extension. So it doesn't matter what it is, the phone doesn't register it. You know, <laughs> yeah. so you just got you got to like Siri it, but you, the Siri's not reading. It's like, yep. They, yeah. Rrr, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, so we have um, we have a, another question from Daniel J. Anthony. I said, "What was it like getting to work on Fan Uh I don't know what that is. I don't think I worked on it. You, yeah, I don't think you did work. I was I was kind of surprised. I was like, "Were you on a Fantastic uh, for uh, thing?" Oh. So I'm like, "No, I didn't work on that." No, okay, yeah. So yeah. I was Daniel. Wrong Nicholas King. <laughs> Wrong Nicholas King. Because I literally, I was like, oh, this is interesting. I'm like, did he work on that? I'm like, if we did not know this, why did we not know this? Right. But okay, we're good right now. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, if you want to get your prints, go to streamly.com slash Nick King and get your prints because he is going to come to your house and just disassemble everything that you thought was hole in your life do you not see the mask no. <laughs> so all right so let me ask you a question so since you you know you you've gotten into sinister like was the horror genre something that you were always fascinated about or you just you just wanted to like get into the industry and you're like oh wow this is this is something that it's you know, it's my life and it's definitely a fun little like niche, you know, a group of people that they're just super devoted and love this stuff. And it's super like it's really fun to interact with people um, as far as like horror movies and stuff like that. I mean, I, you know, I did before that I did, you know, um, uh, what is it called? Paranormal Activities and Insidious and stuff like that, you know. It, 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 I'm actually a lot of horror movies. I did Lords of Salem and stuff like that. Um but yeah, no. do you want a hug? I don't know. I, I feel like you like scaring people a lot. Do you want a <laughs> hug? <laughs> well, that that is so. Like, so did you grow up, you know, uh, idolizing and like really loving horror since you've been in so many different things? Because I did not know that you were in Paranormal Activity. Yeah, uh, and, well, I did, you- I did stunts on it. I did stunts on Paranormal Activity on like the first, third, and fourth one or something like that. And then for Insidious, I think I did, I, I don't know if I worked on the third one, but I doubled Tucker on the fourth one mm. for stunts. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Hold yeah. on. Daniel J. Anthony said, yeah, IMDb said that he was the Scorpio head technician. Oh. so And there it comes back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I do many things in the studios i i do stunts i act um i'm a teamster and i actually used to um i used to run with a camera car company so pretty much it's you know say this is a car right here we're behind it filming it all the action stuff like that so oh, i used so to like the chase scenes and stuff exactly yeah so that's cool yeah so i used to do that for a while but i mean i i've been in the studios since i was seven years old you know that's- my first it was Max Keeble's big move, if people know what that is. Which, what is it? Max Keeble's big move. Max Keeble. What? 
it sounds familiar, but it's I feel like all right, I'm dating myself. I'm 37. I feel um, like that's before my time. Uh well, I'm 33 and I was what eight when it came out? Yeah. Seven or eight, yeah. So you would have been, you know, twelve, no, like fourteen. You see, but I've been New- I was in New York. So there there's that time was literally all like Power Rangers and then junior high school. So I'm not even thinking of even movies. I'm thinking of surviving junior high school. Yeah, right. Exactly. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like anything that was like a big, big like uh, feature thing. I'm like, I don't have time for that, man. I got to circumnavigate the pimples on my face. Yeah. No, you I know. <laughs> but, that, but how could you? But it's so crazy that you worked on so many projects. Like you forgot. That you worked on Fantastic Four in 2015. Yeah, no, I've, I mean, I, that's my IMDb is hasn't been updated pretty much ever. My mom did the, a couple here and there. I mean, there's so many, so much stuff that I've worked on that I just never, never updated it on. Get you know, your due, my friend, get your yeah. due. Yeah, get your due, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, we're about halfway through the stream. Right now, we got about, we are in about 17 minutes into the stream. Don't forget, get your prints at. Streamy.com slash Nick King. And Nick, before we go into our next uh, autograph signing, Mm -hmm. we have a very, very, very important question. One of the most important questions we get to ask all our talent by by Wolfrinsky. Favorite ice cream flavor? So, okay. So I don't know if this is like a nationwide flavor, but I used to get it at the local Thrifties, which is now Rite Aid. And it's called Medieval Madness. And it's mm-hmm. like a mixture of like vanilla, chocolate, and then like, I think like three musketeer chunks in what? it. It's it's super good. Yeah. That's by far my favorite ice cream. That actually sounds pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> like I, 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 I'm not a real big ice cream person. I will eat like the little like ice cream sandwiches. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it tastes so good. But... I'm uh, like I'm starting to get into like the Oreo, like ice cream. Yeah. Because yeah. when you pass by, all you smell is like Oreo cookies. You're like, I want a cookie, and then you're like, oh, it's mixed with ice cream. I know, right? <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah. So yeah. let's go into our second signing. This is for the Sinister A print, which is the one that you, the one with the Sinister Two. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, just take a look at this print. Just I'm gonna just get off the screen. Oh, that looks so damn beautiful. Oh, and the gloss and the shine. Co- yes, cookies and cream with Frisky. That's what it's called. Cookies and cream. Yeah. No, not cookies and cream. There's actually an Oreo ice cream out there with Oreo chunks in it, just like the Three Musketeers have their chunks. Yeah. There we go. And this one, this print is made out to the lovely Bethany. Bethany okay. has no um, inscription or description. So... Write whatever you like. So I would probably say write something like inspired by Sinister 2 on this one. Okay. And he's like, I have I've got nothing. I'm just gonna write Mr. Boogie. All right. <laughs> so question, where did the name come from? Um I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't I never asked, I never asked uh Scott Derrickson that question. I think it's probably like he asked one of their his kids, like, I'm going to name the, a horror villain. Yeah. What should I name him? And their kid was like, had a, a finger in their nose. He's like, ew, I got a boogie. Hey, daddy, Mr. Boogie. Got it. Perfect. <laughs> Shazam, child, I am putting you on the writing staff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> but it, it, it's interesting. How, like, It's not like you like to dance. It's not like you're you're like um, you know John Travolta's Saturday Night Fever like the boogie, you mm-hmm. know? No, I know. But yet again, it's just like it's. I feel like it's just such a, a dichotomy of the actual entity compared to the actual name. Yeah. You know, it's like kind of like looking at Tiny Lister, you know, Debo, and calling him Tiny. Like, mm-hmm. dude, there's nothing tiny about you. I know, right? You know, like total oxymoron. So it's like, anytime I hear, I, I, I'm like, I keep reading it. I'm like, that is Mr. Boogie, right? I'm like, I, I'm, I don't remember him dancing at all. So I'm yeah, like, definitely not. 
I was like, definitely don't remember dancing at all. So I'm like, okay, cool, cool. So yeah, so let's let's get into that second autograph. Put okay. what your heart desires. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Again, with no dialogue, it's it's difficult. So I got that. I'm gonna that. Dude, I and honestly, I love that one that print and the way they reprinted it. One, yeah. do you see the shine and the gloss on that? Yeah, uh, it, the gold it actually looks pretty cool. Yes, that's all I was about to say. I'm like the gold market makes it even more awesome, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. You could get prints like these only at streamy.com slash Nick King because you know what? If if it ain't the king, it ain't Nick. And Nick is like, I'm gonna hire this like dude for all my ads. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> so, all right, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. If you could work, because I know that you are very much into the horror genre. If you could mm -hmm. work in any other genre, acting and being, uh, and have like a Ted Poe, a Ted Poe um, movie, what kind of genre would it be? Would it be like an action movie, like John Wick? Would it be like a drama, like? Um, uh, I don't want to say it. The Notebook. Would it be a thrill? I, he's like, oh, geez, bro. Seriously. Um, would it be a thriller such as Silence of the Lambs? You know, would it be suspense like The Fugitive? You know, like what? I, I like suspense, but to me, they're predictable. Uh, not really for the simple reason that look at um, the usual, uh, usual suspects. Nobody expected that. Yeah. Uh, look at seven. Actually, seven was more of a thriller, but thriller horror. But look with, at that. Uh, What's Mor in a box? Seven with Morgan Freeman. Yes, and Brad Pitt. Josh Hartnett. Huh? Josh Hartnett. No, right? no, it was it oh, was Brad Pitt, bro. Yeah, lucky number eleven. Yeah. Okay. Lucky number eleven. Yeah, you're like you think it's the wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because remember, uh, remember, Brad Pitt was like, "Come on, what's in the box?" What's in the box? And it was this dead wife's head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're like, what happened? Are you serious? That's true. Like, That's true. Okay. You see? So it's like, and oh, look, come on. M, M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah. That, yeah. Like before everybody and their mother ruined that for you. Yeah. And all the, all the, like the, the parodies and the, uh, the commercials. Yeah. That was like, That's are true. you serious? That's true. I am. So, I'm a big fan of the movie Signs. So, oh, yeah, I like that one a lot. You see, so then suspense, ladies so and probably, gentlemen. Yeah, probably suspense. Then, yeah, we need to get some casting directors to hit up Nick and be like, Hey, yeah. Nikki K, check it out. I agree. I, I got a brand new suspense movie, kid. All right, listen, you're gonna be the detective, you're gonna be fighting this guy, and all of a sudden, at the end of the movie, it you're actually the killer because you have multiple different uh, personality disorders. And we're going to put, we're going to put like little Easter eggs. It's going to sell millions. There we go. And you'll be like, cool. I like it. I like it. Put that on paper, ladies and gentlemen. Put that on paper. <laughs> so, all right. And then we are going into our last signing, which is your phenomenal headshot. Okay. And right, ladies and gentlemen, just feature that headshot. I'm going to remove myself. You see, ladies, ladies, that 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 is a man that you want to bring home to mother. <laughs> that, you know, it's just like Nick, Nick has a fantastic smile. He has a great vibe. And he's like, hey, I'm Nicholas King. And I yep. want you to be my queen. That's right. There you go. So my, my wife might not want to hear that, but yeah. <laughs> what the, well, that was the that was the headshot that got you to get your wife. So yes, exactly. <laughs> Segway, <laughs> there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on our last couple of minutes here in the stream. So don't forget, go to streamily.com slash Nick King. And this last one is made out to Bethany for the okay. headshot. So I would say for Bethany's headshot, I say make it out to whatever your heart's desire on this one. Because, you know, you're looking very dapper, but yet again, very confident and jovial in that. So 
I guess write something inspirational for Bethany. Oh, uh, you're putting me on the spot. I, I said you can't. You don't need uh. to. It's a it's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But yeah, for a headshot like that with that great smile, it's like have a great day from my uh, from this king to your queen or something like that. You know, uh, we're co- no listen. I'm coming up with your ad spots right here, baby. I know. There you go. So, yeah, just write whatever you like. Let's see. Uh, if anything, I will I will give you your uh, your waiting music while you're thinking, okay? <laughs> Manamana. 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 What do you think? You forgot everything? No, I was, have a good day. What do you think? Oh, have a good day. Yeah. I don't know. Or, uh, have a good day. Thank you for the support. Yeah, there you go. There we go. You could tell that I've been to way too many Comic Cons and seen way too many talent right there. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to, we're approaching the, uh, the final minute and a half in the stream. Don't forget, go to uh, streaming.com slash Nick King. His shop will be open after the stream. So, don't for, uh, we will be putting some more stuff in there because he is part of paranormal activity. He does some paranormal activity stuff, some insidious stuff. So we definitely want to see more of his IPs and his good, awesome stuff here on the streaming platform so you guys could order it. And don't forget, we ship all over the United States, all over Canada, and we do international. You want Costa Rica, you want Brazil, you want the UK, we could do it for you here at Streamly. And with that one, Nick, you do, do you have that print? Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. I'm going to just get off right there. Look, man, how did you not get cast for like Friday Night Lights? That is a that is the head quarterback picture right there. We need to make a Varsity Blues remake. Right? Casper, Casper Van Dien. Move Maybe like, no, not Casper Van Dien. It was, um, oh, my God, from Dawson's Creek. What is his name? James Vanderbeek. I know yeah. it, was, it was one of those three-name people. And he's like, move out of here, James Vanderbeek. Nicholas King is here. And you have to say, before the movie's over, you have to say, I don't want your life. All right, perfect. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> but, but ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you so much for being in the chat, for being here on the stream. Nicholas, I want to thank you so much for being here. Um, before we get off, tell everybody where they can find you on social media and tell everybody the next place that they could find you um either location wise or next project that you're working on yeah so that's not under nda so you don't get in trouble okay yeah no uh i mean again i i have many jobs in the studio so i actually i'm team streaming right now on a show called the rookie police show season five um I'll be oh, doing what it. network is that on because i think i've heard of it um i don't know i don't watch the show i just work on it <laughs> <laughs> fair enough yeah i don't know <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, uh, social media, just I'm Nick King 8 That's the best way to contact me, you know, if you ever want to talk. Uh, Facebook is good as well. Um, as far as conventions, I had to turn one down um, just a couple months ago because of work. But I'm hoping, you know, next ne- early next year, starting back up. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you do know, if you want to see him at a con, go to your local conventions. Uh, organizers and say you want to see nicholas king at your local con and with that ladies and gentlemen you know you can follow us all on social media at streamly.live and if you want don't forget the shop will be still open at streamly.com slash nick king so with that ladies and gentlemen i want to say thank you once again nicholas for being on the stream and being here with us for screamly october and we will see everybody later goodbye everyone have a good day